What if one prompt could turn a basic product photo into studio quality image? One click more and later into ready to post a video clip. Well, that is seller peak. Let me show you how it keep the model and product consistency while changing scenes, outfits and poses. And I will show you how we can use it Nano Banana, the new offer from the seller pick and included virtual try on. First, let's start with Nano Banana. For this, we need to upload the two images. And I'm going to use it from my history before a t-shirt where it says word wow. It's the best way to be sure the consistency of the product. Keep it during the all our creations. Next, we'll go history and just upload it male model. You can select the model from the huge library, but I want to be a little bit fair and select model that I created. Well, uh, next I want to say combine both images. And here's a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with the, how prompt work with Nano Banana. Uh, it could be a little bit challenging, but general, I'll give you also tip. If you say like combine both images, it's work best in this case. So I want to combine images, place a t-shirt with words wow on a male model, and I want to create in portrait mode. Prompt engineering, it's very important when you work with a generative AI like Nano Banana. And we have it, our result, which is actually not bad at all. It's created. The t-shirt look a little bit more as a paste on. Primarily right here, if you can see by the neck, it does not look real natural to me, but it still be not bad just to see your product. Well, let's try to change pose with our model. So I use the same images. And this is one minus when you work with a Nano Banana, you sometimes need uploaded same images, kind of like to reset your environment. So I will use the same t-shirt, same model, only I want to say on end, the model need to sit on a floor just to change a little bit pause. Well, our image generated, let's look closer. And it's not bad, except it did cut off quite a bit. We lost shoes, but it is sit on a floor kind of image. OK, it, it's not bad. I still thinking right here, look by the neck a little bit more artificial and I don't have a, that good control over poses here, so I need to specify a little bit more in a descriptions of what need to be generated. It, it did good work on generating images. My only problem here, what if I need to create hundreds of those images and constantly re-upload it and create new over and over, and hopefully they will be in the same pose. Well, I see some minuses with this path. So let's check different ones. Let's go with seller pick and we'll just try virtual try on. We're going to use the same t-shirt here and let's upload our model. It does come with a big selection already of the model, but to be fair, I'm going to use the same model as we're using with this with Nano Banana. And here as I'm uploading, it's already understand look on a t-shirt and says, hey, we want to replace t-shirt. Next things what I want to do is select poses. I'm going to select default and seating pose and let's generate. Nice things about this, I can select up to 24 different poses and literally batching all generations for my product, which has saved a lot of time if you have it online store. Our image is ready. Let's preview. This is original. I do like a little bit better natural shadows, how they're done on t-shirts, so they look nice. And the text is consistent and look beautiful. Okay, let's check our sitting pose right here. Same, I do like proportions. I don't need to worry about specify, create closer, far away. So it's use the same consistency on the image and a very nice. Remember neck, what I was saying right here, if you look, it is more natural. It does not look like paste on. I think this is performed better than Nano Banana to placing shorts there. Let's get, take this to the next step. So I select photo that I like it and it's created and I want to animate. For this on the bottom, I'll just go click image to video. Let us bring us to the next screen where we can animate. We do have a several presets for the model we want to use from here, or you can click on a custom and create your own. I'm going with a custom right now. I'm going to click down and select VO3 fast just to see how fast it can generate it. You can edit video prompt. And for example, we can say model looking around or some other ones like touching hair, 
fixing t-shirt color, look on a watch, you can add all of these details. If you also have it at different frames, you can notice right here, you can generate from frame to frame. So beginning and end of the frame to create more complex animations. As well, we have it out to generate synchronized audio is enabled and let's click on generate. Okay, our video is ready. Remember, we also included sound. Let's click. It's very impressive. Nice sound, nice generations. And motions is very good. And if you want your model speak, it's very easy to do with a lip sync. Just click on the link above the image. So right here we have it, our image applied. Let's select our voices. And I'm going to narrow down by male, a little bit middle age, accent British. And I think from this will work. Let's listen to one. The world is round and the place. I think that will work for now. So we'll select, click confirm. And right here we have a voice. Next, let's go paste our text that we want our model to speak. And my text about like 10 to 12 seconds. I think it's work the best. If you have it pre-record audio from your other models, you can easily just click on upload audio and upload MP3 or WAV file from here. So on a text script, I think it's ready. Let's go click generate. Well, our video is generated. Let's look on this. I just put this t-shirt on and it practically disappears. The fabric is soft and breathable with a gentle stretch that moves with me. No scratchy tags, no stiff seams, just easy all day comfort. You know, I am real impressed. If you look closer on the t-shirt right here, look what's happening. You see how the wrinkles change? That is really impressive. I was experimenting with many other ones, way to create. And if you're interested in the simples, they will be placed in the end of this video so you can see how it's work. I think at this point, Seller Pig offer a very high professional tool that can cover a lot of variety. Personally, I like virtual on better because it's offer a batch processing, very easy to use, multiple poses. So if I produce those products and want to sell, this is definitely I'm going. Nano Banana is not bad. It's great, very good result, but I need constantly uploading same images. I don't know what actually come up with the poses in the end, a little bit inconsistency because you still rely on AI. Or I need to work very hard on my prompt engineering to create image. In either way, it will take much longer time and it's more random result on the end. If you're interested in this product, I will put a link down below for you for extra credits. Be sure to use this. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. Like, subscribe. Thank you for supporting this channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. Now, a quick motion pass with VEO3. Because it starts from my generated still, the motion stays accurate and consistent the face and product details hold up, and the audio bed is added automatically. You can link your social accounts to Sellapic and use one-click publishing or schedule posts for shorts, reels, and TikTok.